up, it's the Chow Chin Chows, JGPH Games here, welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Fire and Omega Egg Run. In the last episode, we took on all four members of the Elite Four, and in today's episode, we are going to be taking on the champion, Ruby. Which is actually going to be voiced by Ruby, so this is going to be really fun, actually. I don't have his... Uh, the day I'm recording this, I don't have his save file yet. I don't have his uh, audio file yet. But by the time I edit this episode, I definitely will have his audio file. So, that'd be pretty cool. Cannot wait for this. I know the fact that, like, when I did it with Chibi in uh, Pokemon Christmas, it was really good. Chibi was an amazing actress at, doing, at, playing the rival, at playing the rival there. So, she did brilliantly. Thank you so much to Chibi Vary for that one. Uh, that was so long ago though now, and now we're doing it again, not once but twice. Not just uh, Ruby is doing it uh, for Fire and Omega, but Nick, Extreme Phantom, is also doing it for his series. Um, I should have let Daru do it, voice the rival in the ne uh, in um, in Galactic in the Platinum Galactic Clock, but I'll remember for next time. Next time I do a, a series where I get to name Darude as my rival, I will also try and get one for Pokemaster too, because that'd be pretty cool. And maybe even Michael, you know, Pika Place, that'd be cool. So, we'll see. Anyway, till next, uh, let's do this already. I was just about to start an outro. Let's do this. Hey, Juan, you came back. <laughs> That's so great. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. And not only that, I assembled teams that will beat any Pokemon type. And now, I am the Pokemon League champion. Juan, do you know what that means? Well, I'll tell you. It means I am the most powerful trainer in the world. I love the music, so goddamn epic. And this was so good in Symphonics too. Okay, you start with Flareon. Okay, Earthquake, the Flareon. That's first blood. Solomons. Um, Pondera. You don't learn any electric type. Well, not electric type. Yeah, you don't learn any electric type moves. You're gonna have lefties, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Ice punch. Don't like the dragon dance. Don't like the dragon dance. Ice Punch doesn't kill. I could possibly live another attack of whatever you try and do to me. Maybe. So I could actually get the kill on you. Lefties is going to take you out of healing range. Equake. Can I live a, ton can I live a plus two direct? Equake. I can. What do you know? Emperos. Rocky, come on in here, please. I don't have a ground type, but I do have a solid Earthquaker. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't have a don't have a ground type, but I do have a solid Earthquaker and Rocky. And I am quicker than an Impros, which I was not expecting to be. Venusaur coming in. Fluffy. Oh yeah, this is a starter, wouldn't it? It might be an idea to um, Will-O-Wisp, actually. It would have been if I actually had actually done it. But he missed the sleep powder, so I gave him a chance here. Unless he's really trying to get that sleep powder in, which is going to be really annoying if that's the case. He really is trying to get that sleep powder in. And I can't hit a Will-O-Wisp. I'm going to have to toot my flute. Yeah, I'm going to have to toot my flute. Frenzy plants. In this game, they exchange the they exchange the recharge turn, so you don't get reach. You don't have to hit. You don't get recharge turns in this game, but you do uh, lose power and accuracy. So accuracy is really bad on frenzy plant, but you still hit it apparently. Fine. You know what? I'm just going to flamethrower you. I was going to set up a fuller wisp and ha and sort of do some things there to s stop a potential full restore. That's why I wanted to do that. That's why I wanted to... Um... Okay, so I'm going to have to heal. No, I don't have to heal. I just have to wake up. The... Just wake up. Again. You're going to heal. There's the full restore. Saw that coming. strength oh my god can you stop hitting me your sleep powder seriously it's going to have 55% accuracy you know now I'm not sure I'm going to actually going to be able to hit kill you with the fame throw which I wanted to do I 
time to toot my flute again. There we go, toot my flute. You missed your frenzy plans. In comes the sandstorm again. I really wish I hadn't put this up, you tell you, Drew. In come the lefties. First from Fluffy. Then from Venusaur. Now for Flamethrower. Is that going to kill this time? Yeah. Okay. Alkazam coming in. Gonna go into the Metagross. Buffed by the sand. You're buffed by the sand too. You're flefty, sir. So. Calm mind is bad, but the fact is, this is physical in this generation. And you, I know that you can't hit, have, you don't have physical. And a jinx. Okay, the starter. Level 99. I'm level 97. I still outspeed. I outspeed a Jinx somehow. Somehow I outspeed a Jinx. Oh my god, you live on like nothing. You live on like nothing. But you're gonna die of sand! Sandstorm! <laughs> beautiful! <laughs> Rocky, that was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. No! That can't be! You beat me at my best! After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already. It's not fair. Why? What did I lose? I, I never made any mistakes raising my Pokemon. Darn it! You're the new Pokemon League champion. Joanne! Although I don't like to admit it. So, you've won. Conceally, congratulations! You're the new Pokemon League Champion! You've gone so far and grown up so much since you've uh, left with Electabuzz? Uh, Elkid, Elkid, Elkid. On your work, on your work on the Pokedex. Joanne, you've come of age. Ruby, I'm disappointed in you. When I heard so much that you've become the Pokemon League ma- the When you'd been the Elite Four. But I got here and you were already lost. Ruby, do you understand why you lost? It is because you've forgotten to trust to treat your Pokemon with love and trust. Without that, uh, you will never become champ again. Joanne You understood that you understand that your victory is not just your own doing. It is the bond you share with your Pokemon. It is marvellous. Joanne, come with me. Ahem. Congratulations, Joanne. This floor is the Pokemon League Hall of Fame. And Pokemon League champions are honoured for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Joanne, you've worked hard to become the new Pokemon League champion. Congratulations, Joanne. You and all of your Pokemon are Hall of Famers. Hmm. 
Rocky the Tyranitar, level 97. Xbot the Metagross, level 97. Ponderer the Politoed, level 97. Fluffy the Houndoom, level 97. Emperor uh, Fabio the Emperor, level 97. And Jane the Venusaur, also level 97. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. The champion, congratulations. And of one more time. Look back at the Pokemon League and run. And ladies and gentlemen, that is Pokemon Fire Red Omega. It has been such a great series. From when it was a lock to the Let's Play it became afterwards to finish off the game with all the legendary catching and absolutely everything. It was so goddamn amazing and we've come so far since starting this series. It has been absolutely amazing. I thank each and every one of you guys. This once was an egg lock so thank you for sending in eggs. Whoever you, whoever did send in eggs, I thank you so goddamn much. I know my channel is small, but you guys come through to support every series. You do. You honestly do. And we grow every day. And it's so goddamn... It's so goddamn amazing that we're able to grow and we're able to change and we're able to become better every day. I know that YouTube is going through its slumps right now, but our channel is growing and we are where it is uh, we are i am very very happy with where my channel is right now as we go into pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon and the fourth year on youtube uh starting november 14th so yeah i'm really happy with the channel right now and i cannot wait to continue going on adventures with you guys into alola and beyond into 2018 because i have plans for 2018 and they are amazing if you've probably talk, heard me talk about them before but they are amazing and i can't wait to show you all those plans as well and uh, to tell you the truth i really didn't think we'd actually complete this series honestly i thought we'd have lost by it uh thought we'd have lost once or twice but we didn't actually white out until towards the end of the pokemon league really um no, after the Pokemon League in the after game. Yeah, but which really didn't matter because it wasn't a lock after that point. But it was fine. And I enjoyed this series. I really did. I really enjoyed this series. So I hope you did too. I'm going to take my leave now. If you did enjoy this series, and if you did enjoy this episode, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, if you're on Vidme, upvote for the channel and... Leave comments over there as well. Your support on Vidme is very much appreciated, as much as it is appreciated on YouTube. Oops, so thank you very much for all the support you guys have given me and the channel. It's been amazing. Valanta Nation is awesome. You guys are all awesome. I'm going to take my leave here. And until next time, I'm Jewish Peach Games, and I am out. See you in a Lola. Till then, a Lola. And good night. Mindela Pokemon, get the laser. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night.